A legitimate looking email comes into a teacher from a parent asking the teacher to click an infected link, maybe to show them one of their students' work. The teacher clicks the link, but nothing happens. Maybe even a sample image loads, but nothing makes sense. It's just a random internet image. The teacher moves on with his or her day. In the background, the attacker now has access. Security tools are always pumping out lots of possible alerts, too many for anyone to look at. Many of these alerts are low probability possible indicators of an attack, but usually are just user behavior. It takes time for the security team to chase each one of these to confirm if they are really attacker behavior, but the team gets in thousands of these a day. The attacker, like a submarine, quietly moves from machine to machine, both finding machines with valuable information and preparing for future attack. The attacker also wants to make sure if defenders find him in some locations, he still has access to the network. While doing this, the attacker is also figuring out which users need to be used. There are a variety of tricks. Maybe the attacker realizes he needs to use the curriculum director's account to get access to the student rosters. He works and makes sure everything is ready for him. After the attacker gains access to the systems and gains the necessary administrator, domain administrator, or system level privileges, there are several activities they will automatically perform. You may see each step done in multiple ways to evade and defeat any defensive measures taken by tools or administrators, since these are the automated steps. Some of these steps include killing security programs, removing local backups and recover points, creating firewall rules, and uninstalling security tools. Now, it is time for the attack. The ransomware is enabled remotely on many systems at once. Teacher, staff, and administrator systems quietly start encrypting all servers or USB drives. Desktops are encrypted last. Eventually, ransom notes start appearing on staff desktops. They pull the plug, but the servers and most data on the systems are already encrypted. <laughs>